When you finally get it right, there are not many joys in life that can equal the feeling. I think the toughest thing for a director to do is to know what he wants. It's not how to get what you want, it's knowing what you want. It's not enough to just have an interesting set of ideas. You really have to have a, a human connection, an emotional connection for the audience. And the, how, how well you tell it, of course, is really important. And who plays in it, and if you cast it properly. I think when you see that, and you see artists driving that, that you know, with so many challenges, I think it, uh, it's, it's rewarding for audiences. I like character-driven films, and they're very they reveal a lot about their character in the movie. The most extraordinary thing in a frame is a human being. They spend so much time on the settings and it slows the pace of the film then. The story is not the settings, the story is the story, it's the plot. You know, it just, the effects just make it so that you can, anything you imagine, you can almost do. You know? Something about doing your first one when you don't know what you're doing quite. And you can all, I always try to get back to that moment of, well, you don't know what you're doing, which is shaking things up a bit because you're not relying on things you've done before, either successes or techniques or anything like that. A, a lot of things that I do the same way every time, but it's just the way I like it, and I and I feel like it's a mistake for me not to do it, not, not to do that. After all, all art is experience. The, the trick to it is creating a story that's that's both satisfying enough and surprising enough to justify doing doing a sequel. If you make money, if you're successful. People will accord you intellect, and and they'll they'll make up for your errors. They'll forgive all your errors, all your faults. You make a piece of nitro that you throw in an audience's lap. You know, those people notice. Learn from that experience, sitting in with the crowd, and then go out and make another picture the next weekend, and just keep doing it. Make films, no matter what anybody says, and you'll be a filmmaker.